Hello everyone, I80386SX, and today's tutorial is actually going to be useful in the modern day, believe it or not. It's going to involve, well, this is an older version, this is a 5AC16, but uh, these are the Ubiquiti Nano Beams. I have two of them. Uh, these are the old ones that I pulled out because one of them decided to turn into a vegetable or a pumpkin, whatever you want to call it, uh, while I was working out on site. So I actually had a real-world situation. Um, the core switch, it was a Cisco Catalyst 3750E. On the other end of that, uh, there's another building, the store. I purchased them a Aruba Insta on 1930. So we call that a, we'll call that the edge switch. But uh, we're gonna have a very similar setup here, but. But I had to get a POS VLAN, the guest network, the production network, and the wireless management. I, want, I need to get those four networks talking across these nano beams. And I have found that either I am very stupid or the documentation on this is very sparse. I don't know. We'll probably go with the former. But I'm going to show you today how to get multiple VLANs going across your ubiquity nano beams. It doesn't matter if you get the new version, if you got an older version. Uh, I did patch these to the latest possible version. As you can tell, we are on 8.711. That's the newest at the time this video was recorded. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what we got right there. I will uh, have to go on my Amazon real quick and... Uh, I just care. I don't remember what we bought exactly, but uh, for them. But there was an original plan that there was a shed that we were going to connect these two, and then these two gave me difficulty, so we had to put the new ones in the store right away. So, yeah, the ones I purchased for that, for this this other building, was a Gen 2 High Performance Air Max, the NBE 5AC Gen 2. This is the 5AC 16. Now, the newer ones have one they have two NICs on them and two they do admit a uh, they have a management network that does broadcast for about eight hours or so by default so if you run into trouble or if you turn your thing into a vegetable you have a chance to rectify it before things go bad but anywho so what's the equipment so the core switch here in this example it's gonna be the same concept so don't worry is uh, a Aruba 2930F on the edge, quote unquote, is going to be a Cisco Catalyst 3560G. Again, same concept. So, what do we have to do to, uh, well, first of all, we got to get rid of this crap. In one minute, you're going to see the, get a nice lovely preview of the yield table here. And how, what do we have to do to this switch? Good news, not much of anything. This is the Aruba. Uh, that's if I can type. There we go. So this is on the Aruba end. Really, really simple. As long as the VLANs exist, if, if you have some base, basic understanding of uh, networking, you should be good. So this is the... Uh, on the Aruba 2930F, and literally all it is is interface tagged in whatever VLANs you want. For this example, we're going to use VLAN 7 and 26, and this is the version of, this is the OS that the switch itself is running. So, very, very simple, and pretty much the same concept. Uh, you'll do the same exact thing, although there's a web GUI for the instant on, that you would have to log into, and I will. If yeah, you gotta know if you know how to tag a VLAN on a Cisco, excuse me, an Aruba instant on. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta tag the VLANs you want, and, and absolutely no untagged. Another thing I need to tell you is I have not tested this on VLAN one, and I'm not going to. So I would recommend switching to a different VLAN 
Anyways, so back to the Cisco end, which there is absolutely nothing connected to it beyond a network card to another computer that's not go doing anything or a serial cord. So we are going to bring out a very modern example of a Compaq Armada 7400 that is serial directly into the ye old 3560G. Again, this network car, this network cable is connected into a test laptop. That's that's all it's doing. So all I did for this, and if there's a better way to do it, I tried it with the native VLANs and I couldn't connect. So, uh oh, the computer shut off. One moment, please. While with the magic of video editing, we'll get it right back.